for this. Thank you. We just did it for you. We got Michael Shanker and Bobby Blotzer, What's and you up? might know Michael Shanker from MSG. You might know Bobby Blotzer from Rat. But today, tonight, we're talking about uh, contraband, and maybe you guys could tell us a little bit how contraband got together. Contraband started by way of our management um, after Michael and I and the rest of the band Rat did a MTV unplug together, you know, and um, got together with some tunes, and it's pretty much that simple. And uh, we're having a great time. Yeah. The, you know, the chemistry involved, a lot of fun. You know, him and uh, Tracy playing together is a great combination. I mean, when you hear the record, it's just... Good chemistry. It is. Yeah. It's a yeah, lot of fun. I was watching the video, which we're going to debut a little bit later in the show, with you doing your solos and with Tracy doing his mm -hmm. solos and taking, going back and forth. I'm just like, yeah. I mean, it was cool. Well, right now, why don't we take a look at the cl clip of uh, when you guys met on MTV Unplugged. It was with Rat and uh, Michael, and you guys were performing an old Creedence Clearwater Revival classic, Born on the Bayou. You look, you look like you were having like a miserable time there. You were yeah, like smiling like, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Fred Corey was playing yeah, Kungas in that. And he up. was cracking me up. I kept looking at him. Plus, I was trying to sing the, the words, and I didn't know what the heck they were. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had a good time. Okay, uh, once I, again, I said, uh, we've got the debut of Contraband's video, which is the old Mott the Hoople song, All the Way to Memphis, coming up. And we're going to be back with Michael and Bobby. But right now, let's take a look at a video from Rat. Here is Loving You's a Dirty Job. Come on. Back on the Headbangers Ball, I'm Ricky Rackman, Michael Shanker, and Bobby Blotzer are here. Now, the number five Skull Crusher of the Week is coming up, and uh, so don't you go anywhere, but right now we're talking a little bit about the band, Contraband, which has U2 in it, and Tracy Guns, and Cher from uh, Vixen, and Richard Black from Shark Island. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a killer conglomeration type of thing. Now, uh, I was talking to you earlier, you said you really didn't take that much time to do the album. I, it was pretty funny because it was like three days of rehearsals, three days of recording. And I was I was on my way out of town on a little ski trip, and the phone rings, and as I'm walking out the door, it's like we got one more song. Come on down and record. So I got the dogs and the skis in the truck, and I'm down there tracking another track, which uh, called "Loud Guitars, Fast Cars, and Wild Wild Living." Yeah. And, uh, and I also noticed there was a lot of covers on the album. I mean, there's a David well, there's Bowie song, except for one, isn't it? Three. Covers. Well, there covers in the meaning that we oh. didn't write them, but there's three, you know, well-known. There's David Good, Bowie, Hang right. On To Yourself. Good Rockin', Good which rockin'. Montrose did, right. and uh, all the way from Memphis. Which I think we're just about to play. Um, here is the debut from these guys and some other guys that you'll, and girl that you'll probably recognize. It's Contraband. This is the debut of All the Way From Memphis. <laughs>
Hamilton, and it is the Headbangers Ball. Michael Schenker and Bobby Blotz are here, and we're going to be talking to them uh, as the show continues. But right now, it's time to vote for this week's Ball Buster. Laugh. It's still the Headbangers Ball, and I'm still your personal host, Ricky Rackman. We were going to spend the rest of the time talking to these guys about the ever-present facial hair. But instead, I thought it might be more important to talk about your guys' uh, other bands, other than Contraband. Um, for instance, Bobby, what's going on with Rat? Rat is getting ready to tour come uh, late June. Got a best of album coming out. And, uh, it's a lot of good stuff you guys can put on there. Yeah, there's a lot of material, you know, six albums worth. And uh, going to be touring through the summer into the fall. And then we'll come back home, work on next record. Uh -huh. And what about MSG? MSG is going to be called the Michael Schenker Group in the future again, featuring McCauley, Robbie McCauley. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, we are ready to go. I think our pre-production starts on the 9th this month. And the, the album should be out in summer. Cool. Well, thanks and for taking the time to talk to us. Oh. And remember, you should guys should check out a contraband. A lot of really good artists on it. Guys and Cher, how did you get involved with the band? Well, actually, I, I played with Tracy a long time ago. I just had a rehearsal studio. I picked up Kelly's bass and we started jamming. <laughs> but... Uh, I think it just sort of came about, I mean, we all know each other from our management. We all have the same management, so we all see each other down at the manager's offices and stuff like that. What kind of trash can you tell us about the guys now that they're gone? Ah, let's hear the dirt. <laughs> the dirt. Well, uh, let's see. You want Hoff and they bathe or anything <laughs> like that? <laughs> well, we, we, we could tell that from here. I don't think you at home could really could tell, tell, but that's kind of good. Was it uh, different playing with all new band members? I'm sure that you were used to playing with Vixen for so long and then playing with all new band members. Was it, you know, different? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was... Um, I mean, it was just a more spontaneous feeling because you don't know what they're going to play. Whereas with Vixen, I mean, you know, you get so used to the way that your members play. You know, like, I'll go to do a fill in a certain space and Roxy will kind of know what I'm going to play like. Whereas with Bobby, I didn't know what kind of fill... Was there a lot of impro right improvisation on the record that everybody kind of did with their own Oh, thing yeah, was? in the studio, too. I mean... Every take was different. Oh, cool. Uh, well, we're yeah, it was real back, easy. Come back and talk to Cher in a little bit. But right now, here is the debut from Mr. Big. Now, the guitar solo in this uh, song right now is from the, with the band Contraband and uh, other bands. We've got Richard Black, who just told me that this means Vanilla Ice, and uh, Tracy right. Guns from L.A. Guns, and uh, Richard from Island. Island. And they combined this mishmash of talent to create a band called Contraband. Now, I know that Michael, Bobby, and Cher, I guess, kind of got the idea. Michael Shanker. Bobby oh, yeah. Blasters. It's hard to just drop Michael names Schenker, there. Sarah Michael Schenker from MSG. Oh, Michael And UFO oh, and, Scorp and former Scorpion. Right, yeah. He's and Bobby Blotzer from Rat. And yep. Cher from Vixen. Right. Yep. Now, they met at uh, MTV Unplugged, and I guess they kind of put the idea together, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, then how did you guys get involved? Um, how did we get involved, man? In the band, I mean. Oh, they, band. They, <laughs> Very funny, Rick. Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> we got phone calls, man. Hey, you guys want to do this thing? And we're like, yeah, you know. Um, it just, just kind of happened. You know, Al and our, our, we all have the same manager, so we're all kind of involved with the, with the same, with the same manager. And he, like, mentioned it to us as a joke one time. We're like, yeah, right. We're going to do a, uh, you know, like a, a one-off album, you know. But, um, after we were rehearsing at the same place, we kind of jammed one day together to a lot of old songs and stuff, and it was just kind of fun. So we just said, well, what the heck, let's just put it out. He was willing to do it, and we just said, okay, let's just do it. So. Cool. It rocks, too, man. Yeah, it's well, we're going to be uh, yeah, playing a video from you guys in a little bit and coming back and talking to you. But right now, here's a video from a band called L.A. Gu Who? L.A. Gu LA Guns. It's I Want to Be Your Man. Ball still here with Richard Boy. and Tracy of Contraband. Of course, they also are with L.A. Guns and Shark Island. But we're going to be talking about Contraband a little bit later. But right now, it's time for us to take a look back at the Skull Crushers of the Week. Number five is Poisoned with Ride the Wind. Number four, Cinderella, Heartbreak Station. Number three, Great White with Call It Rock and Roll. Roll. <laughs> number two, Warrant with Uncle Tom's Cabin. And number one, Queensryche with Silent Lucidity. And again, we are gonna be talking to these fine gentlemen a little bit later. But right now, it's time to play that number one Skull Crush of the Week. And you might remember a while back, I said when the new Queensryche album comes out, I think it's going to make them a, a household name. And I think it's kind of doing that. There's a great song by Queensryche here, is Silent Lucidity. Yeah. This band 
Contraband, Contraband, which has got a lot of other people in it, like Cher from Vixen and Bobby from Rat. And, uh, Michael Shanka. Uh, Michael Shanka. Did I leave anybody out? Uh, I don't think so. No. No. Okay. Anyways, now, so. you've all got different styles. I mean, the bands are all rock and roll, but they seem to have different styles. Was it kind of weird, everybody getting together and trying to play one type of music? No, I mean, you, you know, it's, it's only rock and roll, but we like it. That could be a song. Kind, kind, of, kind of attitude, kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, all the songs were written by um, uh, other people outside writers and stuff, because we really didn't have enough time to get together and really write new material so all the songs all are cover songs on the album oh well not necessarily cover songs like three cover songs on the record and then the rest are outside writers brought them in and we all just chose the songs that we wanted to do is so there a shark island song on it though yeah bad for each other okay that's my song right. amazing song. <clears throat> okay we're gonna come Good back song. and talk Thank to these me. guys in a little bit but right now here is a debut from Pantera, and they're gonna be here next week this is their uh follow-up to their last video which was called cemetery gates which was one of my favorite songs and this one is equally great this is Psycho Holiday from Pantera.